Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shirav. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important Java collections interview questions. Next question. What is the difference between array list and vector? What is the difference between array list and vector? Array list is not synchronized and vector is synchronized. Array list is not a legacy class. Vector is a legacy class. Array list is increases its size by 50% of an array size. Vector is increases its size by double the array size. Every method present in array list is now is a non-synchronized. Every method present in link list is synchronized. At the time of multiple threads are allowed to operate array list objects and hence array list is not a thread safe. At the time of only one thread is allowed to operate on vector object is thread safe. Threads are not required to wait to operate on array list. Hence relatively performance is high. Threads are required to wait to operate on vector object and hence relatively performance is low. The array list is introduced in 1.2 version onwards and it is a non legacy class. Vector is introduced in 1.0 onwards, it is a legacy collection. The next question is What are the differences between array list and link list? Array list uses a dynamic array and link list uses double link list. Array list is not efficient for man manipulations because lot of shifting is required. Link list is efficient for manipulations. And array list is better to store and fetch the data. And link list is better to maintain, manipulate the data. Why? Because link list contains by the concept of linking. Here, link list is the method get of index is order of n in the array list get method index is order of one because that's why link list is retrieval is very fast compared to array list in the array li link list we can add the elements the order is order of one and order of n if you use the add method with the by passing the element it takes order of 1 if you pass element under the position it is order of n in the array list it the method to add the element into the array the method is add of an element it takes the time order of 1 and if you pass the element and index it takes order of n minus index but order of n is worst case since the array must be resized and copied for the removal in the link list a remove of index n it takes order of n and iterator dot remove is order of one and come come to the array list it removes the index it gives the index order of n minus index and if without any index it takes order of n minus index finally array list is used array list uses a dynamic array and link list uses doubly linked list and array list is not efficient for manipulations because lot of shifting is required linked list is efficient for manipulations array list is better to store and fetch the data and linked list is better to manipulate the data the next question is what is the hash code method the hash code method returns a hash code value a hash code method returns the same integer number if two keys if two keys are same but it is possible that two hash codes numbers can have different or same keys if you see here the hash code method returns the hash code value an integer number the hash code method returns the same integer number if two keys by calling the equals method are same but it is possible to two hash code numbers can have different or same keys it is possible to same uh, it is possible to hash codes numbers can have different or same keys 
the next question is what is the comparable and the comparator interface list their differences java provides the comparable interface which contains only one method called compare to a java provides comparable interface it provides only one method that is called compare to this method compares two objects in order to impose an order between them specially it returns a negative integer 0 or positive integer to indicate that the input object is less than uh, or equal or greater than the existing object java provides the comparator interface which contains the two methods called compare and equals the first method compares its two input arguments and imposes an order between them. It returns a negative integer 0 and positive integer to indicate that the first argument is less than, equal or greater than the second. The second method requires an object as a parameter and aims to decide whether the input object is equal to compared. Comparator. The method returns true only if the specified object is also a compare comparator and it's imposed the same ordering as a comparator. See here the comparable and comparator. The comparable is used to compare the objects. It has only one method that is called compare to method. The compare to method is used to compare the objects and it returns the different values it may be a positive value it may be a negative value or it may be a zero the second one comparator comparator is a method to compare the objects the comparator has a two methods one is equals method and another one is compare method these two methods also returns the compare method returns the three possible values one negative zero and positive integers The next question, how do you remove elements during the iteration? The iterator also has a method remove method. When a remove is called, the current element in that iteration is deleted. Remove method is used to remove the elements during the iteration. Iterator also a method remove method then when remove is called, the current elements in the iteration is deleted. The next question is, what are the main implementations of the list interface? The main implementations of the list interface here has follows. The first one is array list, link list, and vector, and copy on write array list. Array list. Array list is a resizable array implementations of the list interface. The best all around implementations of the list interface. Next, vector. Synchronized resizable array implementations of the list interface with uh, additional legacy methods and next one is link list double link list doubly link list implementations of the list interface may provide a better performance than the array list implementations if elements are frequently inserted or deleted within the list useful for queues and double ended queues the main implementations of the list interfaces are array list, link list, vector, and copy on write array list. The next question is what are the advantages of array list over array? Some of the advantages of array list has over array are it can grow dynamically. Array list is grow dynamically, it provides more powerful insertion and search mechanisms that arrays. If you compare the array list over the arrays, array list is dynamically grows and and also insertion and search mechanisms is so many methods are available in the array list over array. The next question is how to obtain the array list from an array. Sorry, how to obtain array from array list. Array can be obtained from array list using two array method on the array list. If you see here, array can be obtained from an array list using two array method on array list. List array list is equal to new array list method. Array list dot add of 10. Now I am 
converting array list into the array by using array list dot to array method it returns the object array the next question is why insertion and deletion in array list is slow compared to link list array list internally uses and array to store the elements when that array gets filled by inserting elements in a new array of roughly 1.5 times the size of the original array is created and all the data of old array is copied to new array during the deletion all elements present in the array after the deleted elements have to be moved on one step back to fill the space created by the deletion array list internally uses arrays array list uses and array list array list internally uses and arrays to store the elements when that array gets filled by inserting elements into a new array of a roughly 1.5 times the size of the original array is created and all the data of the old array is copied into a new array during the deletion all elements present in the array after the deleted elements have to be removed one step back to fill the space created by the deletion and coming to the link list in the link list data is stored in nodes that have reference to the previous node and the next node so adding the elements in simple as created the node and updating the next pointer on the last node and the previous pointer on the next node deletion in the link list is a fast because it involves only updating the next pointer in the next before the deletion node and updating the previous pointer in the next after deleting the node if you see see here i can show how link list will be deleted and inserted yeah and depend See here, if you take the array list, now If you take the array list, array list is internally created like this, and whenever we are inserting, it increases the five times, one point five times. Whenever we are deleting, it's deleted the elements from the particular position and in, moved the elements accordingly. And coming to the link list, and coming to the link list, in the link list, the elements will be stored like this. is the previous element next previous element next previous element next this is the format of link list whenever we are inserting the new element automatically just it updating the next and previous element if, for example if you are inserting the element here just it updates the previous and next to here 
but it links like this just it uh, previous element is updated here and uh, previous and the next element are updated here whenever we, we are deleting the elements automatically it updates the previous pointing and the next pointing nodes the next question is why are, why are iterators returned by array list called fail fast because if list is structurally modified at any time after the iterating after the iterator is created in any way except through except thought the iterators own remove or add the methods the iterator will throw a concurrent modification exception thus in the face of concurrent modification the iterator fails quickly and clearly rather than risking arbitrary non deterministic behavior at the undetermined time in the future why iterators returned by array list called fail fast because if list is structurally modified at any time after the iterator is created in this way accepted except through the iterator wants the remove and add the methods if a iterator will throw a concurrent modification exception thus in the face of concurrent modification the iterator fails quickly and clearly rather than risk arbitrary non deterministic behavior at under determined time in the future thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye